So this is my biofilter. It's uh, made out of a trash can. It's six years old, so it does need to be eventually updated. I will be making a video on how I did that, like step by step. That way you guys can follow along if you want to make one too. But this can give you an idea of, you know, how a homemade setup looks like. And it works even better than the ones you buy at the shop. So I made first the two holes, you know. Then I made this one, so it's slightly smaller than, than these. You just need one of these and something to cut it with. So I cut them along and then I had these other PVC, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, they're, you know, they're like L-shaped. You know, just make sure, like take it with you to the shop or buy it all at once or take your piece and make sure they fit. You know, they have to be snugly fit. So the water's going to go through the pump. Okay, it goes through the pump in here, it's going to go down here. And then I have a T right here, and this T connects to two other pieces that I had cut off from the same long piece. And then I got another two L's, you know, one going this way and the other one going the other way. This is going to create like this uh, circular moment movement when the water goes through. As you can see, then that uh, also helps like with the debris so it settles down and it doesn't go straight back up so yeah that's how I did so there were three L's one T just so you know and then I have them here connected um, you're gonna want to get one of these I think they're called bulkheads um, this is just to make sure that the water doesn't leak and then I have this connected to a hose and I have this like basket here just so the fish the fish don't go in there or any big items. But I used to have like a, a bucket with holes. Um, I think that probably worked better because so that way I didn't have leaves getting stuck there. This one leaves can still get through. But uh, I'll be making one of those pretty soon. So yeah, this is practically how it works. The base of it. Now I'm going to um, add my basket this is just like a basket you know just any basket and this is to make sure that the debris just stays in the bottom it doesn't go back up you know it's like extra reinforcement a circular one is better is ideal i didn't have one back then so i had used you know any basket that i was able to find but now i uh, i was able to acquire one circular it fits perfectly so I'm gonna make a slit and I'm gonna put it in there so I made a slit and uh, wherever it was a dented that's where the tubing is gonna go in and out through um, that's where I cut more just so it fits in nice and snug and I use the scissors a knife you can probably use an exacto knife or something better put this in Don't use one hand, so I'm sorry. Okay, so you don't want water escaping, like you want leaves coming back up, and it's easier for cleanup because um, all you do is take out the sponges, clean the sponges, and then take this basket out, and then all the debris will be in under there. You know, all the gunk will stay there, and you know it just like an extra one more uh, layer. Like this canister filters, but like really big. There you go. Now I'm gonna add my next layer, which is gonna be these scrubbies. Which again, I got them at the dollar store when I was just starting out, but they worked really great. I'm gonna try to make this nice and snug, because after the water goes through there, you know, then you're gonna go through the scrubbies or these shower things and that's gonna chop out any you know small debris that goes through these holes before getting to your sponges
Now, I'm going to add a layer of sponges. Okay, so I've added a couple of layers of sponges. It'll be different for everybody depending on the size of your of the trash can you're using, a container, and what you have. But now I'm gonna add um, one of these. Not really sure what they're called, but it was um, extra that we found laying around. It's it's for the air conditioner. It's like an air filter type of thing. But I mean, they sell these also in like the online pawn shops or you know, aquariums shops where it's just that like pre-filter before adding the bio balls so I'm gonna add that here and I'm gonna put the bio balls right on top so right here I added the bio balls so again I added the layer of sponges and again in following the container you know go in this rotating motion so add I started here then you go this way and then I do that that way they interlock very important I'm gonna add these locks at the end just to hold everything in really nice and sealed and we're done then I add um pair of feathers on top or water hatching it's an extra filter and it, it looks nice it goes down covers the, the trash can it will take a while first though here in Florida it's pretty quick because it's always sunny but depending on where you are it might take a while before the pair of feathers cover the trash can okay so this is how the bio filter works the pump is inside that bucket um, and then it goes into the holes into that white tubing down then there's this uh, centrifuge circular motion that goes down in the bottom all the heavier debris um, leaves maybe this is a rock falls to the bottom stays trapped in the basket goes up through the sponges gets filtered then gets even filtered with a little micro filter a uh, micro sponge and then um, the bio balls then it goes through more sponges, then the rocks to keep it in. And uh, I'll be having like plants on the top that will go and cover the, the trash can. Um, right now it's, um, I have it with some pool shock, so I'm disinfecting it. See, the water goes back up. Clean water goes in there. Yeah, that's my uh, bio filter. So this is how the filter looks once it's connected to the pond. Pretty great. Comes out through here. The pump is right there covered by the basket. I'm gonna add some more plants. It goes in through here, back in there. The water comes out nice and clear. Comes out through here. So it's great. It provides uh, filtration and oxygen for my fish. And a nice sound. Really relaxing. I do have to do something about it, you know, make it look nicer. I have to upgrade it one day. I'm gonna see what I'll do. Maybe I'll you know decorate this or find another container but so far you know it works for what it's supposed to be you know filter and at the same time it provides oxygen for my fish okay, the water moves all the way over there so that's great that means um you know there's circulation going all around <laughs> 